Sorry? There's a reason why we wear these hats. Sunny <laughs> <laughs> then again, oh. I can't see around you. Uh, I think we're okay because uh, it's a bit of a high cloud there. That'll be fine, you'll be right. You won't hit the camera. Yeah. Yeah. Bit of a sausage factory doing this, it's been Sorry? Bit of a sausage factory. It is rather, isn't it? One in, one out. Or one out, one in rather. So we've got the next plug ready. Okay. That, that was you. That's your leg. Yep. That's my other leg. Yep. And uh, balance of the pressure weight is within the limit. Yeah. Um, nice and tight. Can you see it forward for me? Nice and tight. Cable on, Ed. Close. Close. Okay, this is where you keep your hands and feet free of the controls then, please, Michael. Will do. And just enjoy. If your camera's on, that's good. Hope it is. Okay. <laughs> so the rope will come taut and then it'll go to full power and we'll, we will be off. Here we go. Just waiting, he's waiting for a radio call. This is what he's shouting at him for. And um, here we go. Visibility is not bad today, but it could be better. How far is the horizon from up here? 
for um, probably about 20, 30 kilometres, possibly more in terms of visibility. So we've just passed 1500 feet, we've got 1000 feet to go. Right. And he turned on to him. Right. So there's Odium in front of you to the uh, right, yep. with, uh, just down to the right, and Farnborough in the distance. And we're pointing at uh, Blackmore in the distance there, the white stuff, which is where I live. White buildings, All right. and in the direction generally of London. And at the moment we're just about, just coming down, almost not coming down, so there might be a little bit of a thermal behind us. I'll just see if I can find it. All nice and gentle as you see. You can see the tug in about the one o'clock position below. No. Yeah. And there's our airfield. So are you happy, Michael? Oh, very. Good. Just keep telling you, you let you get used to the sensations and I'll let you have a little go. You'll see in a moment there's very gentle use of the controls and uh, everything's nice and smooth really now. So how do you find thermals? Well, normally you'd be, be able to tell if there are nice fluffy clouds around. Right. But uh, there's a big brown field below me, because I can't move any clouds at the moment, there aren't any suitable ones. And the thermals come off the brown fields. Oh right. So there's sort of a little bit of a bubble will develop. And if you look at the centre instrument there, you can see now that it's almost reading zero. Yeah. Which means they're not going down or up. And now we're just about just touching the idea of going up. So if I turn there, we might find the centre of it. So gliding is all about turning, I'm afraid. Yeah, yeah. Now there is a glider going there in about, you know, straight ahead in about one o'clock low. It's just going under the nose there. So that's what we're looking for. So if you see any other aircraft, you can tell me. Okay. I didn't see him. There's a long way off. Oh, right. So I'll just get myself into position here, Michael. We'll probably take about 10 more minutes flying time. Okay. And then I'll, I'll when I'm pointing up one, I'll just uh, get you to follow me through on the controls. 
control column only, they would be all right hand. Yeah, just look ahead at the horizon. Yeah. And you'll see the other side of the wall. Yeah. Right hand is the other side of the wall. Yeah. Right hand is the other side of the wall. Right hand is the other side of the wall. Right hand is the other side of the wall. Right hand is the other side of the wall. Right hand is the other side of the wall. Right hand is the other side of the wall. Right hand is the other side of the wall. Right hand is the other side of the wall. Right hand is the other side of the wall. Right hand is the When I use the control column forward, we see nose pitches down. Yeah. If you look at the instrument, we see we're going faster. Now when I ease back on the control column, nose pitches up, and we start to slow down. Ease forward again, and I can recover back to that normal gliding attitude. Okay, relax, Michael. How did that feel? Very good. In a moment then, we won't give you control, we can just have a go at doing the same thing. Let's just get a little closer to the airfield. In the distance there, looking ahead, we can see the little uh, covers for the radars at RAF Okanga. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we use that as a little reference point. And in a moment, when I give you control, just have a go at the pitching. Are you happy with that? Yes, yes. So you have control, control column only. Okay. It's very sensitive, isn't it? Yeah. Let's try pushing up a little. And now forward again. And you see if you can hold that attitude. Don't worry about the wings not being level. There you go. Okay, I have control. And follow through again. Yep. Control column. You can see we've not got the wings level, so to roll to the left, have a quick look to the left. <laughs> and then I can move the control column to the left, and I'll return to wings level. Look ahead. Again now, if I want to roll the aircraft to the left, a quick look to the left, then look ahead, and move the control column to the left, look ahead, we can see we're rolling to the left, until I move the stick back in the middle, and now we're in the bank altitude, and the aircraft naturally turns. Aircraft 11 o'clock level. To roll to wings level, quick look to the right, and then move, look ahead, Move the control column to the right, and I can return to wings level. Relax. Uh, oh, I see him. <laughs> yeah. Are you happy with that, Michael? Yes. When I give you control, then just have a quick look to the left, and then move the control column to the left. Right. Happy with that? Yep. You have control. <laughs> just hold back a little bit on the control column at the same time. Stop the nose going down. There you go. And now go to wings level. There you go. And just try and keep the wings level. Try and hold the attitude that I showed you a few minutes ago. Yeah. A little bit more nose down. Ease forward a bit. Hold it there. I can see the target point. Keep the wings level. You're doing it, not me. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> I'll just let you see if you can hold it straight and level for a minute. A <laughs> little bit nose high, a little bit more nose down. I have control. Uh, we, have, we have the thermal there. I'll just see if I can make use of it. Are you comfortable? Yes, very much so. And we've got a little bit of lift. Let me know if you begin to feel uncomfortable. No, not at all. We might get a little bit of a climb here. We might not. <laughs> <laughs> It's coming off that brown field below us. That little bit of a wobble, there we go. Look, if you look at the middle instrument, you can see we're going up. Yep, yep. What sort of height do you go to? Uh, because of airspace requirements here, we can go to 4,800 feet. 
so we're at the moment we're at 1,400, we're quite a long way to go. Yeah. Aircraft makes a few little scoops and rattles when we're flying, so don't worry about that. It's very quiet though, isn't it? It is. So if I turn a little tighter there now, we'll stay in the rising air. So we're still keeping a good look out for aircraft. We'll do yeah. this for five minutes or so, so you get a taste of thermally and our position for uh, landing. That's telling me there's another aircraft nearby. I can't see him at the moment, but yeah, it's not in front of us. So the secret of what we're doing now in terms of lookout is look into the turn to see where we're going and look out for other aircraft, then look ahead and check the instruments and the uh, the horizon, and then we look into the turn again. So we're just about holding our own at 1300 feet. There's a glider ahead now, slightly high. It's a bit of a black art family, and sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't. You okay? Yeah, it's wonderful. <laughs> There's a good climb there. So that's, that's the lift. That little bit of a wobble is the you lift. You can feel that. So we're nearly in the circuit, so we need to keep a good look out for other aircraft. I can see that my landing area is clear. Yep. Aircraft's just landing over there. Yeah, I think that was the tug. The tug gets down as quickly as possible for the next aircraft. So normally on a trial flight we go give about 20 minutes. I think we'll we'll carry on to take it up to the half an hour mark for you. Thank you very much. I'm, I really could turn a lot tighter to stay in the thermal, but I don't want to sort of upset you. I wouldn't take you wouldn't upset me. All right. Well, we'll uh, we'll try and find that lift again, and I'll try a bit harder. So there, I'll turn a bit tighter then. Yep. A little bit of G-force that you might remember from your Navy days. <laughs> If you've got the slightest hint of giddiness, let me know. Okay. Aircraft landing over there. Yeah, the other glider's well away from us now. Yeah. We are climbing there. Oh yeah. So this is what glider pilots do. Go around this in circles. They, this is what they get out of bed for. <laughs> Well, I can see that. So if I manage to stay in this thermal, you'll see the altimeter needle creep up. And the higher we go, the easier it'll be. But what I'm trying to do is keep it in balance and fly accurately. Oh yeah, we've gone up quite a, substantially. Yeah, we've gone up about uh, 50 feet. Mm. I'm still struggling. We're in, that could go up to six and eight up, in which case we'll gain two or three hundred feet a turn. I'll keep asking you if you're okay. Yes, I'm all right, yes. We've gained about 100 feet now. I'm still really pussy-putting it. beginning to get a little smoother now. That aircraft behind us, that B thing. There's a little electronic mm -hmm. thing called a flam. Yeah, I see that one, thank you. He's not up oh, there. Oh, he's up there. I Above see us. him, yeah. The flam did not detect, no it did, it detected it. 
of the good spot, thank you, because I'm looking into the turn. My next flight's at uh, 2 o'clock, so... Uh, oh, right. <laughs> might have a bit of look. There we go, look at that, three up now. The higher yeah. we go, the uh, smoother it gets. There's a, a glider in front of you, look, to the right. He's going to turn with us. Right. So he's got much better performance than we have. And there's another one straight in front of us. Yeah, I see him. So I'm going to concentrate on the white one now. Yeah. There's a senior instructor in there. He should just uh, stay out of our way, really. He's going on to the next one. No, he isn't. He's centered on it for me and there's another glider in front of you yeah, yeah. the chap that's flying the white glider I flew with him in Spain recently did you? he's an excellent glider pilot still happy Michael? oh most certainly good, well you're a good student He can, you'll see that he's climbing a bit faster than I we are. I can see that, yes. Because he's got a very high performance. The flight is coming over. Yeah, thank you. We have priority because we're in the thermal. Oh, right. There we go, four up. You see the altimeter do move yeah, here? Yeah, I can see it. I hope it's a break 2,000 feet and then we call it a day. Well, you get some good footage on this. <laughs> yeah, I just hope it's on. <laughs> oh, it'll all be memory then. Is that glider in front of us? Yeah. If not, you'll have to come back and do it again. Yeah. <laughs> well, that wouldn't be so bad. Well, you get a, a month's free membership on the blue ticket. All right. So you can fly at uh, club rates. All right. So if you want to come back, you'll be able to do so and pay for a launch. It'll be much cheaper than the trial flight. All right. Okay. That's what the blue ticket's for, and I'll give it back to you and sign it. Anyway, I think he's uh, given up on that, so I'm also will position now to land and stay out of the way of these other gliders. So I think that's going to be an over 30 minute flight, uh, Michael. That's lovely, thank you very much. So with the two gliders uh, in sight to our left, we'll uh, fly ahead. We might find another thermal now. Indeed we are, we're still going up. Oh, you're on two. So if I fly accurately now, or we've come out in the thermal. Well, whilst we've got uh, one other thing I can teach you, looking into the far distance there, you can see another airfield, which is Farnborough, yep. big airfield. Just put your feet on the rudder pedals. And yep. you can see that we are flying towards Farnborough at the moment. Yep. So I'll show you your ring. If I push my left foot forward, see the nose goes out to the left and the string goes to the left, but we're oh, still yeah. 
<coughs> we're still flying towards that farm room. Now when I centralise my feed, it comes back on the original heading. Now if I push my right foot forward, string goes to the right, but we're still flying towards Farnborough, but sideways. Centralise my feet, and it comes back going in towards Farnborough. Okay, when I give you control, just try the same thing with your feet. Are you happy? Yes, yes. You have control, feet only. Going to the left. Then centralise your feet. Now try it to the right. And so what do you use that for? Well, it's just to show you that that's not for turning the aircraft. That's for balancing the aircraft when we use the ailerons. So um, it's called coordination. Anyway, we're not really coming down. So it uh, depends what you want to do. Do you want to carry on flying or go down? I'm happy. <laughs> well, I'm I'll try and turn again then. In fact, that behind us, there is more lift. I've got the aeroplane all day and my next student's at 2 o'clock. Right. So I'll leave myself half an hour for a sandwich and uh, let's see if we can climb again. You're a model student because some people <laughs> don't feel too well after about half an hour. Now it looks like the sky's clear. It's like, you see, reading all the war books. You're in action and then all of a sudden there's nobody there. There's, there's no a cloud <laughs> ahead in the distance, the yeah. white one, yeah. level, and you can see the red one somewhere. I can't see it. I've actually lost the red one. The white one's ahead of you. Yeah. In the middle. Now, now we've got a lot of sink. Where there's lift, there's sink. So that might determine whether we come down or not. Oh, I see. Right, there's lift and I'll turn it in. It'd be nice to break 2,000 feet if we've got a good thermal. Do you want to check your cameras on? 